this month's Laney's Little Bug is Carly Pimento. Hi. I am 13 years old. I'm from Odenton, Maryland, and I've been twirling for 11 years, and I'm the 2018 Maryland State Juvenile Women's Solo Strut Dance Twirl and Tubaton Champion. Well, those are some pretty incredible titles you got there. <laughs> okay, so I'm so, so, so excited I've gotten the opportunity to interview you. You said you're from Odenton, Maryland, which isn't very far from me, so I've had the opportunity to watch you grow up over the years and see you at competitions, and it just means the world to me that uh, you're here today to talk, so thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I have 10 questions for you today. Are you ready to get started? Yes. Okay, so the first question I have for you is, what is inside your baton bag? Like, what do you like to keep with you for practices or competitions that you kind of have to have? I have a lot of stuff in my baton bag. First, I have all my batons that I use. I have my team batons and my individual batons. And a bunch of extra, like, tips and stuff and tape in case anything needs to be, like, replenished or anything. And I have a bunch of different shoes. I have my outside shoes, my dance sneakers, and my jazz shoes. And, yeah. That's about it. Do you have any towels or anything that you keep with you? I don't really use towels that, that much at practice because I'm not, I don't really like sweat that much. So, like, I don't really use any towels that much. Yeah. But I'm kind of the same way. I just kind of have a lucky towel for my hands sometimes. Or maybe if the floor is really slippery, I'll use a towel for my feet. I usually use, um, like, wet paper towels if the floor is really slippery on a day. So, yep. yeah. <laughs> okay, so, you said you started twirling, well, you didn't say this, but you're 13 and you've twirled for 11 years. So, you started twirling when you were just two years old. Yes. Over, over those years, you've gotten to see so many incredible twirlers. Do you have any role models that uh, you've looked up to? Well, that's actually really funny because you're probably my biggest role model. I've loved growing up and watching you because you do all these really cool things and you're just so motivated and I love that. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. <laughs> I really try to be a great role model for others. It's, I think one of my favorite things at competitions is being able to connect with the younger twirlers and even though you're not that much younger than me at one point I was like seven and you were little and yeah it's really fun to get to connect with the little kids and I'm glad that I've been able to be such a big role model for you okay so I saw your routines at a recent competition and you have some uh, challenging things in there do you have a favorite trick well, it's kind of funny because my favorite trick isn't really in any of my routines. It's a flat toss forward roll catch. And I really love that trick because it's kind of like scary and you don't really see people do it that much. Right. Kind of just like waiting for it to be put in a routine. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do a flat toss forward roll. Obviously, you see like leap forward rolls or from walkover forward rolls and those kind of thingies, but they're always all vertical. So I'm going to have to take a look at that one day. Hopefully it'll get put in a routine and I'll see it in a competition. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of different events you compete, but um, this is a hard one. If you had to choose a favorite, what would your favorite event be? I think I would choose Dance Twirl because it's really fun and you get to do, that's like the most dancey routine um and there's like a bunch of different kinds of music in it like there's shimmying music and like dancey jumpy music and then there's also like soft and flowy music right so, yeah i was gonna i was actually going to say something if you didn't say anything about the music i think what i find most fascinating about dance Twirl is that there's so many different like, it's such a diverse piece of music. There's lyrical moments, and then there's, like, a hip-hop section where you can really yeah. break it down. 
And then, like you said, there's like a jumpy section. There's a bunch of different types of music in there. So you get to uh, change up your twirling style within one routine, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I don't feel like any other routines get that, like have that element to them. So I think it makes it unique. Okay, so we've gone through four of the ten questions already. But the next one is personally a really tough one for me. But this might be really easy for you to choose. Do you have a favorite twirling memory you like to look back on? Well, in 2017, um, I was about 11 years old. And I had been following along with the senior routine. And, like, right before Maryland State, a girl on that team quit. So I had to, like, go in there and be in the routine right. and I had a no drop on the floor at Maryland State so that was really cool oh my gosh that's so incredible was that a really scary experience or were you more excited I was really excited because I had never been on, on the senior team before and they were like all the girls that I looked up to so it was really fun yeah what do you remember what style of routine it was was it like a lyrical or was it more of like a jazz mm -hmm. routine I'm pretty sure it was pretty lyrical. It was called California Dreamin'. Oh, yeah. So it, like, started off kind of soft, and then it got, like, more powerful throughout. But I'm pretty sure it was lyrical. Yeah, I know the song, so I would put it more towards the lyrical side. It's a little bit more powerful, but that's a fun song to twirl to, and it seems like you had an incredible opportunity to twirl with the seniors. Now, mm -hmm. did you work on that team for the rest of the year? Yes, I did. So was taking the floor at Nationals with the senior team an experience, too? Was that, like, very memorable? It really was. And I remember we came off the floor and we had, like, two drops. And we all started, like, bawling, crying when we came off the floor. And we were all hugging each other. It was so great. That's so incredible. I'm thinking back on it. There's a few times that I uh, remember a few moments that are similar to that. When you're twirling on a team um, and you're the youngest by quite a few years and there's so many like older influences you're twirling with, people that you've looked up to since you were little, um, having the opportunity to twirl on a team with them is a feeling like no other. Whether that routine be good, bad, or otherwise, once you take the floor, you just, I don't know, it's like a feeling kind of overwhelms you, you know? Because you're twirling with some of your idols, so yeah, it's a feeling like no other. <laughs> Okay, so moving on. Okay, so I know a little bit about your extracurricular activities, but why don't you tell me what you like to do outside of baton twirling? I really like to um, dance, and I actually just try out for high school to dance, so I'll be dancing every day there, and that makes me so happy. And I also really love to perform in um, other ways. I love to do theater, and I love to sing, so yeah. Wow, that's incredible. So, I have a few questions about that. What's your favorite part about dancing? Um, I think it's, like, the way you can feel the music, um, and it's kind of like baton twirling, but, like, you don't have to worry as much about, like, dropping the baton. So, that's, like, really fun, because you get to do, like, all the dancey things that I love about baton twirling without having to worry about, like, dropping, and you can, like, focus more on technique and stuff. Absolutely, and then when it comes to theater and acting, have you had any opportunities in regards to that? Have you been in any plays or musicals? Yeah. I've been in more than 10 um, plays and musicals. I, I did them at school for a few years and I also do a play in the summer every single year so I'm constantly like on stage. Oh that's so incredible. Being on stage is one of my favorite things. I can tell when I watch you twirl and do other things that you absolutely love to perform and entertain others so it's incredible that you get that opportunity often. Okay so now, this next question is question number seven, and I like to say that it's the toughest question out of the ten I'm going to be asking you, and that question is, what would you, if you could change anything about our sport of baton twirling, what would you change? I would change the fact that there's, like, two separate things, like, 
USTA and MBTA. I wish we could like all just come together and be one happy twirling family. You know, a lot of people say that, and I think that's going that's happening in our near future. So hopefully that hopefully we'll be able to come together as one and progress forward. I'd love to see our sport um, hopefully move on to the Olympic level. And in order for that to happen, we do need to be one cohesive group. So fingers crossed that things go smoothly and we see twirling in the Olympics in the future, right? Okay, so this is kind of similar to your extracurricular activities question, but um, I'm gonna change it a little bit. What do you like to spend time with your family doing? Like when you have free time, you're obviously a busy girl with the dancing, acting, singing, and twirling. <laughs> on top of that but when you do get spare time to spend it with your family what do you guys like to do I love like doing pretty much anything with my family um probably about once every month we have a family game night and those are like my favorite because I love to play games and spending time with my family is just the best right because I don't because you and I obviously you're busy and I honestly am as well. So because we don't get that many chances to spend time with our family, when we do, I really like to savor those moments because they don't get to happen very often. Mm -hmm. well, you said you have a family game night. What's your guys, like, what's your family's favorite game to play? Um, my sisters really like to play Yahtzee. I think we all like different games. So like, we usually play Apples to Apples and Yahtzee. Those are probably our consistents. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Is Which one would you prefer, Yahtzee or Apples to Apples? I don't know. That's a hard choice because they're two totally like different games. I would have to go with Apples to Apples because we just laugh really hard with that game. Yep. I've played that so many times. We, um, me and my friends from twirling, when we were younger and we would have like group sleepovers, we used to play that game all the time and just laugh hysterically. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay, so I'm really excited to hear this answer, quite honestly, because I think you have a really bright future ahead of you. So I'd like to hear what some of your biggest goals are, whether that be in baton twirling or elsewhere, or both. Biggest goal for baton twirling is probably to qualify to go to world because I'm finally old enough and I want to attend trials and hopefully qualify. So, yeah. Well, like I said, I think you have a very bright future ahead of you. So if you keep working hard, I think you can achieve that goal. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see that happen, though. I think you'd love the world's experience. It's something like no other. And I mean, yes, we get to, because of modern technology that we have today, um, we have the opportunity to see other countries twirl through YouTube. We get to watch just about anything we can. Um, but I promise you that videos just don't do it justice. Seeing it in person is something like no other. So I hope you get that experience. Yes, that would be so cool. It really would be. You'd love it. And who knows? Maybe one day we can go together. <laughs> Ooh, we'll both have to work really hard for that because I'm a senior now, so <laughs> think about that one. <laughs> okay, so this is actually our last question, which like makes me want to cry, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, so the last question is, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to be a professional performer. Um, for like my last like two years of college i want to like move to new york for college and like go beyond broadway and in movies and tv shows and stuff like that i think that would be like the best job in the world oh i can only imagine i think it would be a great job for you um this is a tough question for you but which one will which aspect of um, acting or performing do you like better? Would you prefer to go into uh, the television world, or would you rather stay on stage and do Broadway? I think I would rather stay on stage because I feel like with, like, being on stage, like, people see you in person, and it's much more real experience. Oh, for sure. With, like, TV and movies and stuff, you don't really get that. Right. 
that's exactly the answers I like not the answers I wanted to hear but that's exactly how I looked at it as well so when you're acting you're performing for cameras yeah that is fun but when you're on stage and doing work on Broadway and things like that you're performing for a live audience and you get to feel their reaction and how they're um interpreting the show which is really cool um now have you ever had the opportunity to see a show on Broadway Yes, um, last year in, I think, December, well, actually, 2017 in December, um, I went with my mom and my sister to see Aladdin on Broadway, and it was totally incredible, and I just love it. I've actually never seen Aladdin on Broadway, but I've seen so many different shows, and it's incredible. Like, I yeah. remember, my favorite show that I've seen was probably Matilda, and that's a majority, like, kids acting there's way less adults in the cast than there are kids mm -hmm. um, and I think it was really cool to see a bunch of like little kids dominate the stage like that it was it was incredible <laughs> yeah I there was a time where I was like obsessed with Matilda and ever since then I've always wanted to like be in the show Matilda because I think it's such a cool show it is it's I don't know everybody not a lot of people know this but like the Broadway version's really very different than the movie, and the Broadway version is so unique and so cool. I kind of like it better. Yeah, I think most shows, like, the Broadway versions are, like, probably, like, twice as better, like, <laughs> <laughs> two times better than um, the movie. Yeah, it's crazy, but I love it. If I could go up to New York, mm -mm. wow, I can't speak English either, <laughs> watch a Broadway show every weekend, I think I would, but there's just not enough time in my schedule. Yeah. Okay, so sadly that covered the 10 questions I have, but surprise, I have a bonus question. <laughs> okay, so this is a hard one. Okay, I'm going to let you choose. Okay, would you rather tell me the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you at a competition or show me your best dance move? Um. <laughs> I don't really have anywhere to show you my best dance move because my house is so crazy and crowded. <laughs> um. <laughs> The most embarrassing oh <laughs> one time when I was little um I was like having a meltdown or something and I missed my set and it was because I hadn't like eaten anything that day and at competitions if I don't eat anything I get like really cranky so that's probably and it was my, and it was when I was really really little, so I was having like a mental breakdown or something, and I missed set, and I got so mad after that. That's so funny. I can I can totally relate to like the whole hangry thing. <laughs> well, upset, cranky, angry turns into hangry. It happens <laughs> to the best of us for sure. <laughs> okay, well, that's all the questions I have for you today. But before I close this interview. I want to flip the tables. Do you have any questions for me? Um, what would you say is your biggest achievement as far as twirling goes? Um, well, I mean, there's three huge achievements that come to mind when um, you ask that question. And I think first is winning this past world championships, being Obviously. 2018 WBTF world gold medalist. Um, and then my two current titles in MBTA as well are um, huge, huge, huge achievements for me, um, being the Miss Major Art of America and Senior Grand National Twirling Champion. Um, but I think besides all that, I don't know. I feel like one a big achievement, I don't know if this is necessarily achievement, but in my point of view, um, I feel like something that I'm really proud of is um, the person that I have become throughout all of it. I think a lot of people, 
I don't know if you know much about my twirling past in MBTA and like my history there, um, but I faced a lot of hurdles when it came to achieving some of my goals. Um, and I feel like a lot of people might have gotten discouraged or given up. And I think I'm really proud of myself for um, never giving up and really saying like, strong-willed and strong-minded in regards to it. Um, so I competed 10 times for the Miss Major of America title, and I think I got second place seven times. Wow. So um, over the years, that definitely was tough. But I would have to say that I'm really proud of the person I have become over the years and the tenacity that I have shown, like never giving up and really being, like having a little bit grit of grit towards it. And, really like showing how badly I wanted it. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. More than just the physical achievements, like I'm grateful for like how it's changed me as a person. Um, and I, I see that as an achievement as well. It's the reason I am the person I am today, so. Pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, any last questions? Um, no, I don't think so. All right, well. Thank you so much for doing this interview today. I mean, like I said in the intro, um, I've gotten to see you grow up. So it's incredible that you're like this young lady now and <laughs> so many great things lined up for your future. I'm so excited to see um, what the future has in store for you. So thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview today. Thank you for having me. I'm so oh, excited. The pleasure's all mine. I've loved every second of it. And hopefully we'll get to spend some more time together. Maybe if our schedules clear up a bit, we can do like a movie date or something. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of Laney's Little Bugs. Make sure to like and subscribe down below.